So I wanted to make a video here to explain to you why to never use a steel flywheel key in a Briggs & Stratton. It uh, tells you that that you should never do that, but uh, there's a little uh, flywheel key here. It's uh, partially uh, sheared, um, but uh, the flywheel goes in the or key goes in the slot in the crankshaft. And as you can see, this one here has been uh, damaged. It's actually that's as good as I can get it, pounding it back into shape. Um, back uh, when I was a teenager, I uh, kept breaking flywheel keys in my go kart, so eventually I put a uh, steel key in and it backfired once and ruined the flywheel and pretty much the crankshaft also. I've never used this crankshaft since. Uh, nowadays I probably could, or I could weld it up and uh, you know, file it down, whatever, but so my go kart got a new $36 crankshaft. That was back like, you know. 35 years ago but uh, anyway so I learned my lesson about uh, using steel flywheel keys and uh, the, what was causing my problems was I didn't have the breaker points set right so it was firing early but uh, anyway uh, to make a long story short uh, don't uh, don't ever use a steel flywheel key if you're breaking flywheel keys you gotta look for the source of the problem because the flywheel key is just to locate the flywheel it's not to drive it. The, uh, the taper cone here is what uh, provides the drive for the flywheel.